Now, what we can do in the center of mass is to differentiate it with respect to time. If I differentiate it with respect to time, if I take the derivative, so I have the derivative of the of the center of mass, it's just the derivative of this large expression here. But remember, the masses here are not um, are, are fixed and therefore they are not functions of time. So constants lang yan, pwede yang ilabas. So pwede mong ilabas yan. And ang magiging derivatives lang ay derivatives ng positions. So, and the derivative of position is what? Ano lang yan? Ano lang yan? Velocity. This is just your velocity, right? So basically what you have is the velocity, mass times velocity of this one, velocity, velocity. But what is mass times velocity? Ano lang yan? No? It's your momentum. Momentum, right. So you have individual momenta here. Momentum to, momentum to, plus and so on, momentum to. Okay, so therefore we get something like uh, VCM, the moment, the velocity of the center of mass is related to this um these velocities here. So parang nag-compute ka lang ng center, ng parang center of mass, pero ang hinahanap mo ngayon ay yung velocity ng center of mass. Okay? So instead of positions, to determine the velocity of the center of mass, you need to determine the, you need to use the formula, instead of R, you use V. Okay? Ganun lang gagawin. Okay? Nakuha? M1 V1 plus M2 V2 plus and so on, plus M and Vn, all over the sum of the masses. Okay, now as I said, momentum yan, yung nasa numerator. So pwede mong isipin na total momentum lang siya. Ngayon, ang mangyayari, I factor out, um, I multiply both sides by M, by this, the denominator. Um, so yung denominator, mapupunta siya dito, mapupunta siya ngayon dito, which is just equal to the individual momenta of the system, individual momentum of each particle. So therefore, this is just, let's say, the total mass M, and hence, um, this is just the individual momentum. Momentum 1, momentum 2, to, momentum n2. To, and therefore, we get this expression here. The total momentum of the, of the object is just the mass times the velocity of the center of mass. Without actually looking at the individual momenta, you can determine the total momentum of the system by just looking at the system center of mass. So, hindi mo na tinitigan yung bawat particles. Ang tinitigan mo na lang yung motion ng center of mass. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha to? Yes, and sir. From this, um, if you take the derivative with respect to time, ang mangyayari, uh, if I take this derivative, ano yung DPDT? Ano lang yan? Your acceleration. DPDT ha, DDBDT. Yung, yung momentum. Ano lang yan? Sir, force. Force, exactly. Pero yung left-hand side ay acceleration. And we have, therefore, like that, and hence, DPDT is MDBDT. Recall that um, J is impulse, and therefore the net force is just DPDT by Newton's second law. And hence, this is just the net force, and this is simply the acceleration of the center of mass. Diba? So, this is your ACM. And hence, from this, ano mangyayari? we have this equation F net is MACM. The net sum of all forces acting on a system of particles, papupunta lang yan sa center of mass acceleration. Hence, anong important consequences? So this one is the most important equations that we have so far. Kasi pwede mong isipin na kung meron kang system of, systems of particles dyan, anong pwede natin gawin? Pwede natin hanapin lang yung center of mass ng, ng systems of particles. And if we know that all the net external forces acting on the center of mass, we can now determine the acceleration of this entire system, which is the acceleration of the center of mass. Hence, Eh, sir, di ba nag-interact naman itong mga, mga forces na to? Yung nag-interact yung mga yan, yung mga particles na yan, nag-interact. We can now treat all of this as internal in nature and hence hindi yan kasama sa, sa equations na kinakonsider natin. These are all internal. And remember, ang Newton's second law, kinakonsider lang, ay net external forces acting on a system. Not just on a particle. Now on a system. Kasi pwede mo na i-extend yung definition natin ng Newton's second law to a system of particles by just looking at the acceleration of the center of mass. So ang ginawa natin, yung systems of particles, ginawa natin isa. Okay? Hence, this is the reason why we can't treat all our objects as point particles because hindi importante sa atin so far um, yung constituencies ng mga particles. Okay? Nakuha? Nakuha? Yes po. Okay, I hope this is clear. Now, um, just an uh, important point. So, for example, meron kang rocket. 
Meron rocket na nag-explode at the middle. So what happens is, well, the individual particles are, well, syempre maglilipad-lipad yan, the center of mass will still continue to um to move as if para siyang projectile on a single, para siyang single particle projectile. Ngayon, nagkakaiba lang yung position sa mga individual constituent particles. So, because, however, the center of mass will still move in the same direction of, as of the single particle because the forces that are interacting um, with these constituent particles are internal in nature and by Newton's third law, magka-cancel out yan. Okay? And since there are no external forces acting on, on the projectile, uh, on the center of mass, except it's just gravity that's exerting on it, it will still follow your usual projectile motion. Pero ang tinitignan mo na dyan ay yung center of mass, not the individual particles. Okay? Clear ba yun? Clear ba? I hope this is clear. Now, there are some problems in the annotated lecture slides. Just solve it. Wala tayong oras. <laughs> Overtime na nga tayo eh. And um, just solve it. There are a lot of problems that are interesting in this topic. Uh, but um, for the purpose of this, um, of the your FQ and LE, ang kailangan nyo lang ay maghanap ng center of mass, which, I, which we already did in one of our problems. Okay? Sige.